Hi, Stephen here. Listen, I just got back from England and I want to share something with you. First of all, I got a chance to go and watch my favorite football team in the whole world, Manchester United. Went to their stadium in Manchester, the Theatre of Dreams. It was amazing. Jen and I loved it. 75,000 people. Awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, and, and, and it is football, not soccer. We actually kick it. How can... Anyway, so I had an amazing experience, but it reminded me when I was there, I was watching the game, and I remember when I was a kid, I loved playing football, soccer. It's what I live for. My mom used to say to me, Stephen, if only you were as good with your classes and math and English as you are, remembering all the names of all the players and all the scores of all the games, you'd be a genius. I would love to have become a football player. But you know what? I never believed I was good enough. I never saw myself playing for Manchester United. I never imagined it because I didn't think it was a possibility for me. Even though I played for my school team and I was captain of my school team. And you know one of the, an even bigger irony? The goalkeeper for our school football team ended up playing professional football. He became the goalkeeper for the hometown that I lived in and actually played for England under 21s because he believed it was possible for him and I didn't. To the point where at about 14, 15 years of age, I contracted a disease in my feet called Sever's disease, which is extremely painful. And I had to have a minor surgery and I couldn't play for six months. So it became a self-fulfilling prophecy that I was never gonna play professional football or soccer because I never believed it was possible for me. I had some beliefs that were holding me back. Does that make sense? And what I've come to learn is that we all have what I call transparent beliefs, beliefs we're not even aware of that control our behavior and ultimately control our destiny. So let me give you some examples of some common ones. If I said this statement to you, I want you to finish the statement for me. If you want the job done, do it yourself, right? You got to have money to make money. You just can't find good people. All of these are transparent beliefs and many, many more that very often have been passed down from generation to generation, unwittingly, that control our thoughts, our words, and ultimately our actions. So what I want, what I want for you is for you to get rid of some of these beliefs that are maybe not serving you, beliefs that you may not even be aware are inside your head. Because think of it this way. If you had a CD and you put it in a CD player, it's gonna play the same way every time, isn't it? And if you think as children, we're told things over and over again that eventually we believe that become part of that CD that plays in our head over and over and again. It doesn't even matter whether anybody tells us that anymore, it's just a belief that's moving and uh, going around in our head. So the first part of the process to change that is to become aware of what those transparent beliefs are. So I want you to start to take a few minutes and write down what are some of your beliefs about money and write them all down. You're going to find some of them are great. They're supporting you. But let's see if we can find some of those beliefs you have about money that are transparent beliefs that you maybe weren't even aware you had that are holding you back from having the amount of money that you really want and deserve to have in your life. What are your beliefs about time? What are your beliefs about men? What are your beliefs about women? What are your beliefs about the world that you live in? All of these things are causing the result that you're experiencing in life. So if you're not getting the results that you're looking for, whether it's in your health, in your relationships, in your finances, is it possible there's some transparent beliefs holding you back? And if we identify them, and we can shake the foundation of them and ultimately dissolve them, is that gonna change your destiny? My belief it will because I know that's what happened for me. For example, your beliefs that soccer is called soccer. It's really football. I'm just kidding. But start to focus on what you believe about specific areas of your life. Hold on to and reinforce the beliefs that are supporting you, and let's get rid of the transparent beliefs that are holding you back. So, as you know, I always say, Socrates said, learning is simply remembering and we learn and remember through our experiences. So I want to give you a daily active remembering experience, and that is to write these things down. Write your comments down below here. I'll get back to you, we can have a conversation about it, and through that conversation, we can help each other create more awareness and move faster and more easily towards what we truly want. So, what do the Greeks say? Saper ord, dare to be wise. 
So do your little exercise, do your dare, and be wise. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Stephen signing off. Thank you. Mm -hmm.